A wild police chase in Highland Township ends with a suspected drunk driver crashing his car into a mobile home with a 76 year old woman inside the home. The chase started when the driver rear ended a deputy's patrol car. That driver made a quick U turn and sped off, trying to lose the deputy in a mobile home community. Well, he didn't get very far. Priya Mann joins us now from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Priya, I understand the impact actually moved that entire structure. About seven feet, and neighbors say that driver was hitting speeds of about 70 miles per hour. But get this, a pretty minor decision by the elderly woman who lives there may have just saved her life. Her bed was right there by the windows. I swear I thought she was dead. This is what Yvonne Beach's bedroom looked like after a driver slammed into the side of the mobile home. And she said everything just, it shook. The 76 year old woman relies on a wheelchair and usually sleeps in her mechanical lift bed. The motor's through the floor now. Last night, Shanna's aunt decided to sleep in the living room. It flung her out of her wheelchair into the floor. Shanna was at her boyfriend's home down the street and heard a car speeding by. She looked out the kitchen window and was stunned by what happened next. I watched it slam into my house and I just took off out of there, ran over here before the police could even get him out of the car. And I told him there was an elderly person inside, like we had to check on her. The deputy kicked in the door and found the woman on the ground. She was frightened. She's still shaking over it. Oakland County Sheriff say the driver rear-ended a deputy near a liquor store in Milford around 1.30 Saturday morning. He took off. The deputy gave chase, but lost him when he turned into the mobile home community. The deputy followed a fluid trail to this huge mess. We don't have insurance. We don't know if the guy that hit the house has car insurance. All we know is that he went to jail. And that 37-year-old Highland Township man remains in custody. Police say there was a very strong smell of alcohol. Now, that driver, the deputy, and that elderly woman were all taken to the hospital. Everyone expected to make a full recovery. Yvonne remains in the hospital, though, with some bumps and bruises. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Priya, I know you've been out there talking with neighbors. They're telling you the man actually lives in that community? Yeah, like a block or two away. Now, the family says that their home is a complete loss. I mean, that wheelchair ramp, they just built that a few months ago. Her motorized bed, that is a complete write-off as well. They have set up a GoFundMe account if you'd like to help. We've got that information on clickondetroit.com. Wow. Well, a guardian angel told her to sleep in the other room last night, so thankfully she's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Priya.